Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, I had to delay a day because I had so many students emailing um, their answers and they would give me the ICD-10, just ICD-10 or just CPT. And for these case studies, I'm looking for both ICD-10 CM and CPT for the procedure. So let's look at these cases real quick and see how you did. The first case study says, this is an elderly female who was brought to the emergency room today when she was out with some friends and developed nausea and vomiting. She has developed diarrhea last night. She has a slight fever and appears to be somewhat dehydrated. And because of that dehydration, she was started on IV. Hint, hint. Past medical history, usual childhood diseases, history of arthritis, history of cataract extraction, no apparent allergies, no medications. She's a widow who lives alone. Gave you the physical exam, and then it says the impression is gastroenteritis, slight dehydration, and arthritis. Patient is discharged in good condition, no further nausea and vomiting. She was given prescription for medication for 10 days. They stressed here about some lab, and the lab did grow out infection. So if you look that up, I looked up Guardia, and Guardia is an infection in the intestinal, in the intestines, marked with stomach cramps, bloating, nausea, and bouts of watery diarrhea. So again, this is a particular type of gastroenteritis. So you had to specify that type of gastroenteritis. So therefore, that code would have been A07.1. A07.1. Normally, I would have gone with just a regular gastroenteritis, but because it specified a type. Then also, they treated the um, dehydration. So because they treated it, you have to code it. Look, they put the patient on IV because they were dehydrated. So therefore, you can code that. Now, I questioned whether or not I would code the Arthritis, I don't think they did anything to treat this, so I don't think I would have coded arth the arthritis. And I know you're saying, well, the physicians got it there, but I can't see up here anywhere where anything pertaining to her arthritis was done. Um, they didn't treat it. They didn't take care of it anyway. So I don't feel like we should code that arthritis. And then as far as the level of CPT, I would have gone with a 99282 because this again is the emergency room. So we knew it had to be um, in the ER range of E and M. So that CPT code for this visit is 99282. All right, so again, they specified a type of gastroenteritis because the stool grew it out. Therefore, I would have specified it in my coding. Case study two was an office visit. It's a recheck for persistent toothache. And so in this case, and I'm not going to read back over again, but the patient had odontalgia, which is tooth pain, which is K08.89 for the tooth pain. But your patient also had cavities, K02.9, dental cavities. And then for this office visit, problem focus, problem focus, and straightforward, for the CPT, I came with 99212 because, again, this is a return, a recheck, so it's established patient, and it's straightforward medical decision making. So my CPT code will be a 99212. So I hope this helps you. Again, as coders, we're researchers. We research based on what the physician gives us to see if we can find specificity in the documentation, but we code based on physician documentation. So I hope this helped, guys. I will be back in a, actually today with two more case studies for you to work on, and, and let's try to get stronger in our code and pick up little, little tricks with these little case studies. I can't teach a full class on YouTube is a little difficult, but I, I gladly do these case studies. 
Again, if you haven't, if you're considering coming into medical coding, don't forget Codemaster Coach's medical coding program. I, I will be starting another class September 13th. So email me at codemastercoach at gmail if you're interested in learning medical coding. Thanks, guys. I will see you in a few minutes.